All right, guys, welcome to episode 17 of Master Duel Masochist. Before we get started today, I actually have an announcement. Later this week, I'll be introducing the premiere of a new series on my channel. This will be the first other series on my channel other than the Masochist series, and it'll be the first time I'm introducing other Yugi tubers on the channel. I'm really hyped for this one, guys, and I hope you guys are too. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the episode. All right, so the deck's looking pretty solid. We're still running the Phantom Knights package. It's been working out pretty well. I think we're going to keep running it. And uh, yeah, no, no real changes other than the last video. So we're going to go ahead and just get right back into the duels. <sighs> yeah, this is already going to be a sweat fest. And gold too, bro. Come on. I know it's just a pot, but come on. Uh... Oh, it's Labyrinth. Mm, damn it. Let's do it. All right, we're playing Risky already. We're going to go ahead and tribute both of our traps. Usually not a good thing, but in this instance, let's see if it works. All right, activate the effect. Let's see what your back row is. Go ahead, activate Welcome Labyrinth. Unfortunately, the Labyrinth monsters are... <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so th if this is Labyrinth, they're 200 to 300 more attack than this, unfortunately. Let's attempt to attack now and uh, get Mirror Forced. Okay, no Mirror Force. Happy with that, but we're going to have to pass here because we got rid of all of our traps. Actually, a cool thing is that this in the graveyard can negate traps on my opponent's field. There's no way they're playing three back row with Sword Soul. He didn't go into Monk. Okay, well, I'm cool with that. Ooh, Box of Friends. That's a cool. That's a good fall like fall back on card. Or this is a good fail safe card. I don't know why I keep stuttering. He has no monsters engraved, so we can get out Light Charmer, but I don't think it's going to do anything. I think we could just summon this and do damage for now. Can we do anything in our extra deck to utilize this? The Imduck isn't really going to do much right now, so I mean, yeah, we can just, we can go to Chosen by the World Chalice. Why not? See what they do. They bottomless us. Attempt to go to battle phase. Try to swing over this Vishuda. That's really annoying. Oh, well, good thing we have this. You thought. Okay, so. Okay, so blackouts in the grave. Beat over the Vishuda. Hope he doesn't have a normal monster. We're not looking horrible, very surprisingly. He's passing. Maybe he gave up. I'm not sure. We do have fail safe cards, so we're not going to summon anything. We're just going to go straight to battle. Hope he didn't draw like a battle fader or anything weird. He's getting cues, which I'm not a fan of. Let's see. Wow. Okay. I thought that was going to be a sweaty match. I'm really, I'm really curious on what he, what he drew. I have no fucking clue, <laughs> but it, it wasn't enough. So, all right, first win, first master pack of the day. Awesome. Love to see it. And we're getting one step closer to platinum. All right, one master pack. Let's see what we get. Perhaps a super rare. Perhaps not. I'm not sure. Let's see. And I meant, I'm okay. Okay. The reason why I opened it like that is because I'm used to, I'm on some other series right now, like the one I mentioned before. So I'm used to opening the packs like this. If you want a little hint at what it might be. So um, we can go ahead and just take a look at the cards like this though. This is a good tuner. I think we might have it, but it, we may not. This one requires a fire monster. I don't know why all the synchros that we get are all non-generic. Just you need Laval's, you need fires, you need all this bullshit. 
Eidos is good. Shout out to another series I'm on, actually, the Sealed series with Topsy Turnip on his channel. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Really excited about that one. But I am playing Monarchs on there. Just a little tidbit for you. I don't think either of these two are going to be useful. Same with the Cyanide Storm, unfortunately. We're never going to be able to summon a Ritual Monster. And uh, more Ritual support, but I don't think it's going to work out. So let's just go to the Legacy Tickets. Alright, so we got two, so let's see what we got. First up, we have my sister's favorite card here, the Little Hamster, Bubonic Vermin. So this is actually really good if we for our level 3 engine if we have another one of these. So we might actually check to see if we do. <laughs> another level 3, we have Memory Crusher. So if this attacks directly, inflict 100 damage for each card in their extra deck. Cool, but probably not going to use it. And we have a Ally of Justice, Colos Colossals, Colossalus, Croissant, I don't fucking know. Um, it's a normal monster, which is cool for our normal deck, but it's also a tribute, not zero attack, so it doesn't work with Box of Friends, so probably not going to use it. And then we have Twin Headed Beast. So I guess this card can just attack twice, but why would I with 1700 attack and it's a tribute monster? All right, nothing there, but that's fine. Maybe, maybe the hamster will come and clutch for us. I wanted to so bad. Okay, so we have some going second cards here. But they might not all work with each other. Okay, so is he going to gain 800 life? Why didn't he gain life? That would have put our Nitro Head into uh, effect. We're getting betrayed. We have the Caspatel, but uh, obviously we can't use her uh, first effect here. Or no, we can only use this effect here. It just can't be shrubbed by a monster or special summon from the graveyard. They are graveyard haters. And uh, most of the decks I play like to use graveyards in real life. So let's try our best to avenge the graveyard decks. Minus Fire King and uh, Snake Eyes, of course. So he's essentially just going full combo here, right? I wonder if Eater of Millions can do anything here. If we draw another level three, that'd be pretty dope. That's probably our best bet. Another intriguing question is what they would do with Pinpoint if they go to Nixies. But they have out the Magnifica, which isn't great. Salamander is not horrible. So this is interesting. I'm not sure what they're playing over there in the corner over there. But he's standing there menacingly. I think we're going to go for the TG Salamander maybe using our normal summon will scare him into just going for it we can see he still does have okay he's going for it right off the bat that's pretty dope all right so i guess we're gonna go ahead and just eater of millions right like what else are we gonna do all right let's see what he has for this we don't really have a lot to fall back on if he gets rid of this guy now, though. Alright, so we're just going to go to battle. See if uh, we can do some. We're going to attempt to. Okay. Very cool. Well, we got rid of their main boss. Now I think we just set two cards and we're going to pass. I'm a little nervous to activate Pinpoint because would they go for an Xyz? I'm not entirely sure. This makes me think that actually we'll let this go through and then we'll activate Pinpoint and they're locked into Exorcisters so they can't special summon any from the extra deck that, you know, aren't Exorcisters. So maybe this is our way. All right. So they're going to do that. Let's go ahead and just activate the Pinpoint dash now since I believe they're locked. I could be mistaken. But we do have one thing about protection for the Eater of Millions uh, with Sakuretsu armor, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and just get out. Yes, let's get out the Mound Smasher. Should be locked in Exorcisters. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe they might. Uh, what are they gonna do? Fusion. Okay, so that goes the grave, and we're gonna get out our Mountain Smasher now. And then here he goes. It begins again. There goes Mountain Smasher. But he didn't get rid of Eater of Millions. 
he still might be able to. He's utilizing a lot of cards in his extra deck right now. So that makes me feel like even if he gets rid of Eater of Millions, we still have potential for maybe somewhat of a comeback. There's the Martha. Yep. He's just going through everything. If he ended on this, that'd be awesome, but I really doubt it. He's going to go into the big one and then... Yeah, so there, here comes the second. I think this should be the last of them, though. All right, so he's going to banish a card. By Eater of Millions, you will never be forgotten. Setting a back row during main phase one, too. Interesting. Okay, go for attack or what? All right. Yep. He has response. Of course he do. So he's gonna special summon out another one from the extra deck. At least we're getting rid of this thing. Or it's gonna be used as material, of course. Another another one of these. Well, at least we forced it out. I think the other one's more troublesome. Nitro Head's online now though. If we draw level three, that'd be pretty dope. Shark's not the one. Not the one we want to see. Let's go ahead and get out Nitro Head, though. If it doesn't get negated or max seed. Love it. Love it. Alright, so you drew a card. He's going to fusion summon. You know what's funny is he actually could have got out a fusion, too. And I was literally joking about that. That's one. And then now I think we just set shark and pass. Good lord. Man's been through his entire deck and literally all of his extra deck. That is crazy to me. Okay, so we can get rid of. Never mind. We're not going to be able to get rid of. That's game, guys. I'm sorry to let you know. It's looking like blue eyes. So some scolding's not terrible here. Unfortunately, we already have one of our targets in our hand for the box of friends. This is a good going second card. This is good for protection. Nothing in our hand here is able to attack. So maybe level limit area B is actually a good play here. Uh, I think it is. We could wait to get our box of friends going, and I think that's what we might do. That way, hopefully, it doesn't kill both of them. We normal summon Ignite, go into the Cicada King, activate level limit area B, and uh, hopefully that's enough. Let's go ahead and do this, though. Okay, so it's Galaxy. We were right at least about that. This would probably be decent. It's not a normal summon, but I think most of the monsters in our hand are based off special summons, so I am going to activate this. He already got rid of a card. It's decent to do it, so why not? That way he's only got four cards in his hand, so let's see what he does. That's a pretty good one. I'm going to be honest, I think he's just going to summon the thing that's unaffected and does a million damage, so... Let's let's save some time. I know, hear me out. Let's save some time and just leave. Alright, so we lost the coin flip and our opponent chose for us to go second. Not great. And also not great is that we have a doll of happiness, or doll happiness in our hand with the box of friends, so... Essentially just a useless card unless we get our broker... And he's doing Scareclaw, which I thought was a going second deck, but if it's Manadium, then it makes makes sense, I guess. It is Manadium. We can just see what his end board is and sort of go from there, but I don't think we have a great chance against Manadium, if we're, if we're being honest with ourselves. And if you guys are being honest with me, like, think about it. I mean... I think we can deal with this board. Maybe I spoke too early. 
Paleozoic's good if he gets that other field spell out. I'm gonna preemptively maxi. Thank you. Now you only have three cards in your hand. And from there, set box of friends and a bunch of traps and hope he doesn't pop off like crazy. There's a card. And that's when we go for the Paleozoic. Go ahead and pop that. Hopefully we don't get negated, but you never know. Okay, so both the field spells are gone. He's got another retaliating C. I don't know if this is even worth it. Like, is it? It depends. If he gets out like a bunch of scare claws or something, then maybe, but for now we'll leave it. Maybe if he activates a card in hand or something, just going straight into battle. That's what we wanted. Unfortunately, our box of friends is going to draw him some cards. Hopefully at the same time though, so it doesn't count as two draws, but we're gonna go for both of our level threes. Hopefully get out that Cicada King. And then we can activate half unbreak on the, yeah, I think we're going to. So we're gonna activate half unbreak on our chosen by the world chalice here. And we can also special summon out this guy who's a level two. Huh, why not? Might as well. Go ahead. Who says we don't got plays? Who says we don't got combos? All right. Uh, this one's okay. But it's a level three, so that's cool. I think for now, though, we're going to go into our Cicada King... And we're going to summon our Dark Eye Nightmare. He has protection with traps and all that, so that's cool. Um, I think here we're just actually going to swing, however. Hope he doesn't have Mirror Force. That would be just, you know, the icing on the cake. But we don't have anything that can get over the, the sea monster, so we have to do that. And then we're going to attack with the Cicada King. Hopefully this doesn't have a battle effect. Okay. And attack with the Paleozoic now. Hopefully we get both traps in the graveyard so we can, you know, have protection for him and potentially just draw a card, which is good. Because this one, not doing anything for us. But uh, I, I guess if this is the Manadium, maybe you're right. Maybe you guys are right, you know. Maybe Manadium isn't as strong as what I thought. Maybe our deck is just too saucy with it. Get supposed to summon this out. Why not? And hopefully link them off away. Another maxi. I was going to say just watch. Okay. Couldn't handle the heat of, <laughs> of, of this deck. You know, understandable. Sure. But uh, maybe you guys are right. Maybe I shouldn't preemptively try to leave because uh, just because I summon Snake Eyes Ash or get out the entire Scare Claw engine doesn't mean they're going to know what to do with it. So cool. Let's go ahead and open up a Master Pack now and hopefully we get something pretty good. Hopefully a super rare. I wouldn't mind. Two supers. That's pretty super. So we have a Hydrolander Orbit. This card's interesting. It's uh, We do only play one ofs in the deck, so its effect actually can work in that way, but I don't see it being usable for us right now. I like that it's a level one, so it works under area limit B or whatever it's called, but that's really it. Ooh, a little extra, a little extra super rare for us, but um, shout out to the Exo Sister player that actually, I think, used this card against us, so cool not gonna be able to play it don't think we have enough star seraphs Ooh, the melfi decks coming together i like to see that so this is like the recursion for the melfi deck so i do not mind seeing that now we just need more melfi monsters so we need orcus monsters for this to work i think we do have orcus monsters this is another good link for to possibly get out with pinpoint just because of the first effect where it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. This goes in the machine deck 100%, and I'm actually considering putting this into the extra deck for our pile right now. 
Well, the machine pile just keeps getting better and better. We got boot up order gear force. So it's just whenever we get attacked, pop their monster. Cool. Goki. Hmm. Summon for the warrior deck. So unfortunately it has to be link summoned to be unaffected by other cards effects. But if we have other Goki links or just a link pile in general, like warrior link thing going on, the Goki power load or ogre isn't looking too bad. I'm not going to lie. And then speaking of ninjas, like I said earlier, we have a ninja card and we have a few ninjas, um, but nothing crazy. So I don't think this is going to be playable for us, but honestly, pretty decent pack. If anything, probably just the orc orchestrian 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 i think how you pronounce it and then this also this for the machine pile and then melfi for the future if we're able to get that going first up we got jaws man he's got a lot of jaws I'll tell you that so this just deals with being a tribute water monster that's its entire identity cool don't think it's gonna be doing anything for us unfortunately this is actually not bad we don't have a lot of options for recursion and we can use some of the cards that get destroyed in the graveyard. So this isn't terrible, just allowing our opponent to pick a monster. Unfortunately, they have to choose it, so they could just give us like one of our stupid vanilla monsters. But it's actually something to think about. I don't think it's going to the deck, but it's something to think about. Not a bad card, though. All right. And now we have an unfortunate report. The unfortunate report is that your opponent conducts their battle phase twice that is i can't even believe that's in the pack and another d spell which i don't think is gonna be good enough okay so painful return maybe kind of cool everything else eh. so let's go ahead and just get back in the duels so i went ahead and took out the berserker the tenny and just put in the orchestrian so we have a target for pinpoint all right and that's about it all right so going second type hand a little bit because of the mech knight yeah, very going second, actually. They're thinking. They're thinking about the maxi. Go ahead. I wouldn't mind. So we can set both of our traps. And uh, psh, I don't even know. What do we even get out? Sunvine Thrasher. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's just go for set two pass, right? Or maybe having a light on the field is good. Yeah, maybe it is. Let's go ahead and summon this over here. See if he activates a maxi. Maybe he thinks we're going to actually be playing Cosmos. We're both twinning with the tier limit sleeves. So that's cool. Let's go and set our ledger book and we're going to go ahead and pass it up. And hopefully he plays into the columns for the Mech Knight or Link Monster for the Induck. He's going to Imperm us. That is definitely something. Yeah, that's definitely a card. He... He's got Blackout. Not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. That's his normal summon. Uh, I really hope he doesn't have the long one in his hand. If he has the long one, it's pretty much game. Like, I'm pretty certain it is. Let's go ahead and we'll wait for him to get out the token. We'll banish the token. He's at 10,000 now, so we're sort of praying. Ugh, good lord. Okay, that's fine. He can banish our good witch if he wants to. I don't think he should be able to do more than that, though. He can re is a return to hand. Okay. How much defense? Oh, it's 2200. Cool. Okay. Come back, Cosmo. Unfortunately, we can't good witch the monk. That's probably blackout, if I had to guess. Let's go ahead and quantum cat it up. He's going to special summon... A monster but negate its effects let's see what he chooses do they have one that's over 2200 i'm not sure oh, well he added it to his hand okay he doesn't have enough in the graveyard to do that let's hope for a trap card area limit b that's a card for sure if it is blackout that's not great but Malevolent Sin might be a good option for us here. And I think we're going to. I think we're going to go for it. We're going to summon out the Good Witch. Hopefully not get blackout. Blackouted. There it is. How could I have known? 
so that happened and now we're gonna go ahead and just do area level limit b we can special summon this out so i guess that's an option is it smart to do that i don't care we're going to just so we have a light on the field we'll activate its effect just in case we get another mech knight in the future we'll put you in the corner right over here we'll hop on over to the right and we're gonna pass our turn so yeah they have a protos with two targets i think they need three though they're setting which is cool going to battle phase maybe it's evenly i'm not entirely sure hey would you look at that another mech knight so let's special summon out this one now okay so the only thing i'm seeing here that we can do is just summon out the lokai i think we're gonna go light charmer here Gonna get rid of this, gonna get rid of this, just so we're able to at least attack. Don't know if he has anything over 1850 defense, but he might. I'm not entirely sure. But we can go ahead and banish a mech knight and then target the monster right here and just pop it. For no reason, because it has to be... It has to be face up, you know? What do you want me to say? That's fine, though. Reading, never heard of it. He's gonna call by. He's gonna call by. Okay. The good witch is out for good. He knows we're gonna use the light charmer to get it out. Droll, that's a card. Yeah, we wouldn't have able to use the light charmer because it's only in his graveyard. But that is a way for him to get out Proto, so we're excited to see him this next turn. If he gets him out and he can attack, it's pretty much game. Goes to defense. At least there's that. Um, yeah, so he chose light. That makes sense. Um, I think Eater of Millions is our only hope. Let's go ahead and get searching, though. We don't really get to see this too often. Let's pick up the... Dragoodies is a good one. So is Box of Friends, but he's not really able to attack unless he attacks with a monk. Hmm. Options. Uh, let's go with your goodies, though. We still have a chance to draw a Box of Friends if we want to. But it's a way for us to get over the Arch Nemesis Protos. Okay. Broken line. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we can... Let's just save it. Yeah, I think we already used, we unfortunately put the level limit in the middle column, but uh, let's just save it for a discard fodder whenever we get a monster. We're still in this somehow on turn 8 against Swordsoul though. <sighs> That's annoying. Magnema is here. He's going to defense. He's going to get another dragon, another bestial. I think it's going to just be Druid Swarm, right? Druid Swarm is a problem. Oh, Baldric. Okay. Not as bad. Paleozoic. I'm not going to do anything for us right now. We'll hold on to it before we get rid of the broken line, but for right now, not doing anything for us. We just have to see if he has a card that can pop level limit area B. If he can get out Baron, he can. Maybe we still have a chance. Oh, he just negated it. Didn't destroy it because it's unaffected. Well, lucky him. So we're going to take 5,000 here. Can we draw the monster? All right. That is not the monster. You will not get the satisfaction. <laughs> he did anyway. <laughs> well, I don't think they were the greatest player, but they still beat us. It's not a great feeling, but... What can you do against Sword Soul, you know? Eater of Millions, good going second. Mech Knight's good going second. Doll of Happiness is a good Ash Bait. Sakuretsu and Pinpoint are going first, but they're not bad. Ew. And what's funny is, without Lost Win, I think we could have potentially had this game too. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Okay, so 
not the worst hand. We don't have a Synchro 5, so this one's not good right now. Box of Friends is good. Yeah, I think we just set Box of Friends and then set everything else. Hope he doesn't have Harpy, hope he doesn't have Feather Duster, and pass it on over. We meet again. That's fine. Wall Revealing Light's a little too risky. We need to wait on that one. Unfortunately, I think if he gets out the big guy, we can't really do much except pay a bunch of light points so he can't attack. And because I have Galaxy Eyes, it's unaffected. We lose. Yada yada. That's fine. We tried. Okay. Not a horrible hand. Set this. And... Set the broker, right? And then pass. He's playing a 60 card deck too. I feel like we're still gonna get cooked and it's gonna be so aggravating. <laughs> Sorry my mood's changed. I don't like losing, it's not my favorite. Witch Raider is pretty awesome right now actually. We can set this as a fail save. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can't attack, so just end our turn. Psychic Wizard. No Psychics, unfortunately. Yeah, it still wouldn't work with this, even if we made this Psychic. Um, we do have plays with this. This card's actually important, because it allows us to be able to get Blue Eyes from his graveyard. So, if we're willing to risk it for the Biscuit... I don't know if Horn of Heaven would work if you special summons a blue eyes or not, but it could. Not sure. I don't know if this basically can react to a chain. I know it can't start a chain, but I don't know if blue eyes summoning counts as a chain. Probably not. I don't know if that's how it works. I'm just sort of talking out of my ass here. What we can do though, is we can tribute these two that aren't really doing anything. And then go into that later. That's another plan we have. We'll see if he's able to deal with just more board presence. So we'll summon this. Let's keep that set just in case as a fail safe. We're gonna go ahead and attack with the magical broker. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're just going to attack with the Sound Psychic Wizard. Finally get in some damage. It's unique that he's playing Exodia, though. Was not expecting that. 60 card Exodia is definitely a deck. I'll say that. So now is where we want to guess if he has Torrential or if he has something else. We have the Phantom Knights, so we can go into the Cicada King in the future. That's always cool to see. We also can just do this. So let's do this. Hit summon a monster, so maybe it's Torrential. It could be. He's thinking about it. Oh, what is this? He's going to return the Magician. We're just going to go Quantum Cat. Since we know he's not playing Blue Eyes, we'll still pick Light just in case. We'll also pick plant just in case. And it's a level four for us to go still into the um, malevolent sin. So we send a limb and put it back. That's that's fine with me. He can keep doing that too, which is a little annoying, but not the worst. Seems like he's playing a good back row. We could go for some damage here. We could just get rid of it. First off, let's go for Malevolent Sin. Put that in attack. And 
And then we could go Witch Raider and just delete everything he has back there. Is that probably our best bet? We could go in for more damage. This will be 2,400, 1,500, 1,900. So that's it's 5,800. That's really damn close. Uh, that sucks. That's annoying. Uh, since we can't finish him off, maybe it's a good idea to go into Witch Raider and just get rid of what he has, though. Get rid of the horn. Get rid of the broker. We'll pop your back row. Or not. Well, that's awesome. Okay. At least we have follow-up plays now. And we'll make a gain attack. And then we'll end our turn. So he's going to return one to the hand. Ah, that's a good pick, actually. And then you can do the dark factory and get those in his hand. I guess we just go in for an attack and I get fucking, I don't know, mirror forced or threading roared. He can do it during our turn. That's so annoying. I don't want to keep giving it to him either because he probably has, uh, he's probably going to just win next turn. It's so stupid. So dumb. We need something that can special summon. Can we please just get another trap? Please. Well, he has all the pieces anyway, so let's just... Jesus Christ, bro. We literally have no other chance of being for this to be able to work. It just has to. Yes, please, please, God. Can return to the hand. I I don't think its effect's gonna stick. Jesus, please. He has more Exodia pieces. Well, at least those are all gone. Thank you. Um, and turn. Go ahead, activate your dark factory, whatever this is. The head's in the graveyard. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't get out the head. That was a really annoying duel, but thankfully we won. So we're okay. We're okay. We're done with the neg negativity for right now. We finally have reached gold one. We get to open up a pack. We can take the quiz, and then we can call it. I am happy with all of those things. That is... Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm going to say Haleon, Sandion, okay, sure. Five, 500, it's a thousand, of course it is, okay. Which of the flying seasons about the banished cards healed this true? Um, this one, okay, we got one. That is Snow Rabbit, pretty sure. Okay. That is a spellcaster, I believe. Okay. The flying monster is known as Black Dragon marches with Light's Horn. Punishment Dragon. Okay. How many vessels? I'm going to say 2,000 because it's its attack. Okay, cool. That should be a... Is it a spellcaster or a fairy? Ah, uh, please. Okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay. Well, five legacy packs. I'm happy with that. Now let's go open up all of it. And then the next time around, we get the synchro sleeves. Very dope. We are level six. This video wasn't meant to be long. It just ended up being long because... Oh, wait, hold up. You are.
But yeah, this video wasn't meant to be long, but because we had to deal with, I guess, the Galaxy Eyes players and trap tricks and all that, it sort of ended up being a little longer. So unfortunately, that's not what I'm hoping for, but I really want to get to Platinum this season. So let's try to aim for it this time. We're not even looking at the cards. That one's not going to do anything, though. Another ninja, ninja card, so there's that. It's a reptile card for the reptile pile. There's a Gishki Ritual, Trickstar Fusion, okay. Thunder Monster specifically, unfortunately, and then an Earthbound Monkey or something, so cool. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Okay, so we have, yeah, that's going to the deck 1 million percent. Okay, so we have a boss monster, okay, cool. Thumbnail acquired. Let's go ahead and open up those legacy tickets. That's pretty crazy. I I wanted to get one of those whenever the anniversary tickets were available, but we didn't end up getting one, so happy to see him. Other card in the pack wasn't really that interesting, so we're gonna go ahead and just keep on going. Mm, not good. Don't think that'll work for us. Mm, okay, that's a card. Acrobatic Magician. So it's a free special summon if they destroy a monster. Okay. Uh, it's not terrible, actually. Activate only when your opponent activates a continuous trap card to get the activation and its effects and destroy it. Okay. Dark Rabbit. Cool. And then we have Turtle of Illusion. Uh, not, probably not playing that. Destiny Hero card. Okay. Last one. This one's glowing. We did, did actually get a super, which is kind of cool. If we have a water deck, this would be good, but unfortunately it's a wind for some reason. Transmigration break. I mean, this would be good against tier elements, um, but other than that, probably not the best card. Okay, cool. Okay, so <clears throat> the Mech Knights package is really good with this card, so that's pretty dope. Um, I don't think we're adding anything else in here, to be honest. Just don't think it's worth it. But this card, solid pickup. We have a new boss monster. And uh, we can spam out little monsters. And then let's say we get a mech knight. Boom. There's Black Lesser Soldier of Chaos. Yeah, and uh, that's a pretty good card. Well, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. We are four wins away from Platinum. So I'm going to try to get that done hopefully sometime soon before the season ends we're coming up on it so i'll try my best and then if you guys like the video go ahead and leave a like and subscribe is always appreciated with that being said i hope to see you guys in the next episode until then you guys have a great rest of your day peace